finally, what we need to do is we need to apply some textures to it. So what we do is, uh, last time we talked about uh, going into Hypershade. Today, basically what I'm going to do is I just click on this plank, right click, assign new material. So you can just simply assign a material from a menu as well. Right click, assign new material to it, go into Maya and you would notice that we have an options of materials available. This is supposed to be shiny material which has some reflection to it. So I will just click on blend and now I have a blend material attributes available or I think the render attributes window opened up. Now to edit the attribute, right click on object again and go into its material attributes and material attributes are here. So this is how you can assign the material without going into Hypershade. Sometimes if you don't want to play with Hypershade, it's very simply easy to do step is you right click, assign new material, select the material, then again right click on the same object, sorry, the same object, click on its material attributes, that material attribute is available here. And same thing, there's no difference between the settings, just different ways of doing it. For example, I can say um, wood underscore material. So just lets me name it wood, wood underscore material. Color, this time I don't want to give it color. I want to give it a wooden texture. All right, so what I do is I click on, the, I need to assign it a texture of a wooden pattern. But I don't have a wooden texture right now. So what I do is let me just go back into Google and come back into your images.google and just search for, for example, wood texture. As soon as you do, you see that there's are tons of wood textures available. Remember the keyword texture. If you click on texture, uh, if you write the texture, sorry, spelling mistake. Let me write texture again. If you would write wood texture, you would actually get something called a wooden texture. So these are all what textures are basically. Uh, they are not just normal images. They are texture images. What these texture images will allow us to do is to put these material referencing on here. And I think this material actually or this wood looks like exactly what we are doing. So what I do is I select it, right click it, save image and save this image onto a particular location. In my case, I just save it onto the folder that I'm using wood texture and that's it. All right. Also, uh, sorry, in fact, what's more appropriately done is that if you right click save, uh, save it in your projects folder. So if you come back here into Maya projects default, this is what we're doing you should supposed to source save it into your source images folder. So wherever your Maya project is in your documents, Maya projects default source images, you can save the image here as well. Word texture, what I will talk about projects uh, in later section. So now if you go back into your Maya, you come back into color, we have saved the texture, right? Now, instead of assigning it a color, what I do, I click on this button. What this button will do, it will open up a render nodes window. This render nodes window basically allows us to say that instead of a color, assign something else, assign a different node. What that node can be, that can be all of these things from bulge, checker, cloth to a file to even a video, motion and so on and so forth. Some things that we will be talking about as we go along. For our case, we'll just click on file because we've already downloaded the file as a texture. We want to assign it to here. So if I click on file, now that file texture is assigned and an image name pops up. Currently it's blank because again, we have not told, told it what is my file. So this attribute automatically comes up. Click on this file here. As soon as you do, remember it will automatically open that folder for you. So see users, this is my folder name and Maya projects default source images. So if you save your image in your source images folder, you can easily access it, right? So by default, this is saved in your documents folder. You can go here, click on open and your texture appears as simple as that. To view the texture in your viewport, you need to press six key, right? or you need to click on this checkered button here. If you click on this checkered button here, you would now have your texture available in your viewport. Then all you need to do is, for example, you can select all these multiple objects, right click, assign existing material, wood material. And there you go. So that wooden material is now assigned to that. Select this thing, click, click, click. No worry about that, just right click on it. So because we have created that material, we have named it properly, you can just simply click here and assign it a wooden material. Same thing with the back frame and the down frame, right click, assign existing material, wooden frame, and your wooden texture has assigned to that object. Okay, and there we go. Now uh, we need a sofa material. So again, I go back into images, go back up, 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 and I can say, for example, LEL leather sofa texture. If you click on this icon, there we go. See this so wonderful looking textures available for us. In my case, I actually would love to have this texture. This seems nice. We have not created buttons, but let's just use this as a texture. Let me save this image as, 
and again in my default source images le leather sofa underscore one or i can use some other sofa material maybe this thing i'm just trying to download few images and we will see that which appears better and i think this is not loaded properly hang on right click save image and jpg uh, leather again this is jp easy what, what, why the format is jiff this is not working i think this is incorrect format okay so let's just find a more appropriate like this one plain we can use this let it load right click save image as and now it's again jiff let me just so far dot jpg see let's hope this works correctly and this was the sofa now let me just try this or even see so there these are all different leather textures that you can use for your uh, as a as your object so i can say uh, bro brown le leather dot jpg i can use that or i can use any of these textures so let's go back into maya select your sofa right click assign new material you click on this maya so everything else is hidden and you get the maya texture this time again i need it to be blend again so i have a shininess and i have a reflection to it color uh, let me just name it for example sofa seat seat underscore empty i give it underscore empty so it's a material so i can easily recognize that this is my sofa seat material within sofa i go into this checkered box click on the checker box and i have all these things now again uh, object is one node material is another node so we connected a blend material with an object then with that material we are connecting another texture node another um, file node in other words so this file node will drive the material the material will drive the object and it would have an appearance to it so once we click on a file node a file node is appeared that file node again needs the actual file as well so this is how a hierarchy or nodes are actually connected with each other so now we select the file that we want to go for example initially i want to use this material let's just see how it goes click on this material and here we go and then now you can see this that it appears but it just appears as a single button however there are multiple things now what this basically is this is a classic problem of uv mapping or texture assignment basically this object is a three-dimensional object and you are wrapping it uh, with a 2d plane just like a gift wrap so if you have a box and you have a single paper you need to wrap that paper up on that particular box right so that it appears top bottom and then the corners you wrap the corners and you stick it with tip same kind of approach applies on the 3d objects as well this is a three-dimensional object the picture that we assigned was a 2d picture so how do we assign a 2d picture on a three-dimensional object so that it appears exactly correctly uh, for that we go into uv mapping all right uv mapping is something that uh, basically allows us to uh oh allows us to allows us to basically allows us to work with objects more um, uh, in terms of its mapping that how 2d objects can be assigned on that mapping now uh, problem is i'm using a smaller screen and if you click on drag on that this menus appears and it's not going anywhere so if i go back a uh, blender shape and go into the next menu uv mapping in within your uv mapping okay let me use the cursor again maps surface okay sorry hang on let me do this one more time surface blender maps blend maps and uv mapping shoot 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 blender maps uv mapping and this there are various different tools that you can use to map your ob 2d object 2d image onto 3d object for now we're just going to use automatic mapping so just click on automatic mapping and it should just do the trick hang on sorry something is going now you see this this is not hiding and that's the problem with the smaller screens maya has a lots of issues the only way of getting rid of it is that i now close the maya and reopen it but now I'm almost at the end of the session. So what I do is I click on surface, use the arrow keys and the use arrow keys and use the arrow keys again. And then make sure you have selected the object, click on automatic mapping. What it should do is it should do an automatically mapping of your object with a gizmo. Well, now what it means basically, it assigns a top image, the same image assigned in with every different angle automatically. Once you have this gizmo, you will note that there is a manipulator at the center you can click on this icon at the scale and you can scale this texture down as well and you can control how that mapping should appear right click object mode and there we go again uh, textures are assigned correctly but still there is a problem with respect to its mapping 
uh, what I do is uh, let me just get rid of this first and so we can talk more on as we go along okay so um, now basically what we are supposed to do is once we have corrected uh, done the UV automatic mapping okay it should clarify uh, the mapping then we right click go into material attributes once we go into material attributes again hang on sorry not appearing material attributes one more time and we have color click on see this arrow now it, this arrow indicates that this color material node is being driven with a texture node so if you click on this arrow it will take you to the file node this is how you can change the materials as well once you are in this node there is something called place 2d texture node this node basically allows us to determine uh, how that material actually is placed on this particular object from its coverage translate rotate to its uv mappings and mirror uv mappings right so here what basically i'm going to do very small is just press 5 by 5 if in other words uh, what it now means is that your texture is repeated five times on this particular object all around uh, you can obviously reduce this number in my case if i use two by two that should also look nice but uh, since my material is not so good um, i can avoid that three by sorry three by three maybe see this the material is not good and I, the texture was not so correct and i'm getting this line in the between so i can go back into file click on another material for example leather sofa not this one not this one uh, maybe this brown one or let me just use this white one click on open and yes so we have a white sofa available mm, again i get this line at the middle obviously we can re remove this line we can correct the material so let me go back into file but we're not going to talk too much in detail about that currently uh, let me use brown nah, brown just becomes too tacky uh, so let's just use this leather sofa for now and we hope that this works fine for us so uh, the same process i do with the back so if i select the back right click on it assign existing material at the bottom and sofa seats so if i apply you can note that it's not correct so what we do is we go into uv mapping we click on automatic mapping because this is a polygonal four-sided six-sided object sometimes automatic mapping does the trick in its best sense and run now right click and go onto the object mode and there we go so we have my sofa created for us very simple and very beautifully done finally what we do is we select all these objects together go into edit and we can group them okay so what group now basically means that now this is my one single group so i can say so far uh, right so far underscore one now control uh, if you go on to this object we have this thing uh, because we group an object remember the pivot point of that object is always at the center uh, zero 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 so when wherein, whenever we do a group control g or go into edit when we group multiple objects together after that the next step is that we must go into modify and center pivot we we'll talk about why they have not done that automatically but again this is there so once we are here we press ctrl d and we have a duplicated sofa available to us all in all in this case available then press ctrl d one more time and rotate this object 90 degrees if i go back into ctrl a for channel box see this channel box is popping up like i said it does that sometimes and i don't like it at all so if i come back here and in it's 90 degrees so minus 90 it appears exactly perpendicular to me as seen i come back here and here's my sofa available so what i do now is i select all these components at the right side one two three okay and i move it a little bit further so this is my sofa seat one so if i click here see this one two three seats so i said select one control d and two control d and now i have a three seats of my sofa making sure that the distance is almost okie dokie then again i select this base one two three and w and i move it almost at this point okay and so here we go finally i select these two things together control d same thing i just move it to this point control d and i just move it to uh -oh, uh oh uh oh uh oh why is it down mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay 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 so this is here i think we just placed this at the wrong point position so you just select this w and move it at this corner here and here we go okay 
so we have the sofa sets positions available I think just correct this a little bit bring it close just like that and bring it close just like that okay finally this guy needs to be adjusted and um, I think what I will do with this is I will go into right click into vertex again click and drag select all the vertex at the bottom and just move them at the corner and then again sorry right click on this object go into object mode so that you can select the whole object and here we go so we have all the sofa sets available for us perfect right